welcome to Kevin Black show the program on air is Jenga uh, na Kevin Black guys it's, it's been a long time imekawia sana before i do these in person videos uh, because i've been away these uh, videos mmekuwa mkiona uh, zimekuwa zikitumwa na a friend of mine the guy who is behind the camera called Austin mwenyewe so he's the one who been sending me videos because i'm, I'm very far and for attachment somewhere so uh, somehow getting time to come here showing you the real thing and what is happening on the ground is uh, been difficult don't always forget that the, uh, the aim of doing these videos is to educate the youths like us who want to at, at least when you want to kujenga nyumba or they want to do any project iko nyumba ya kuku just anything you want to do uh, you know the steps yeah so mine has taken quite some time because kujenga manze si rahisi let nobody lie to you that kujenga is, is, is easy no it, it can even take the next two three years you can even take five years akunanga haraka so long as you are doing it step by step so the aim of this thing is to help you understand step by step on wakati unataka kujenga what does it really take uh, to build so i've just uh, lighted from the bus ni metoka place nilikuwa and uh, i want to walk us through what is going on i also don't know uh, but uh, with the time we'll get to know then mefika kwa gate hata nimetoa tu jacket yangu nimehanguko juu and i want to take us from the gate tukienda huko side za juu a lot uh, has changed a lot has happened uh, it's now time and uh, you are take through what is really happening so you remember last time uh, tulikuwa tuna tunapanda fence and i told you that the best fence that you can always do uh, kama una pesa za kujenga perimeter wall is this one uh, these stony ones right right now you can see the stones are already uh, there and uh, this this plant is in my mother tongue it's called kayaba i don't know what you call it in your in mother tongue but uh, it's called kayaba uh why na ina roliwa kwa fence if you you want to use it you have to do this this is this is called a chain link eh? so we have the barbed wire and the chain link so hapa ndani ya chain link sasa ndio utakuwa roll easy Easy, easy branches zake like taking this one is too much work eh? but in the long run ikishika fiti inaingizwa so naingiza hapo like that one hivyo so that it can grow inashika hiyo fence kuku haizi toka hata rufu ya nyama haizi toka hii inashikanga hadi rufu ya nyama isitoke kwa, kwa nje so that's my fence uh, generally maybe let's get inside i walk you through muone inside chenye the reason the reason why i decided to plant flowers is because this thing is stony at some point you want to prune it or trim it and uh, why na mwaga thorns mingi sana so the, the essence of kuweka if uh, flowers kupanda hii flowers side side ndani ndio at least wakati una if, if, uh, trim hizo hizo thorns zisinge kwa boma sana zidinge watoto and uh, even you pia yeah, ukidungo okay, unaweza kutia vibaya so this is how it is ni venye kumekuwa sana akunyeshi you can see the ground is very dry but uh, at least they are doing well you can see how they are, it's, it's healthy the flowers are very healthy the the kayaba uh, fence is also healthy uh, you can just show them how how it looks like from this angle uh, i can da uko juu uh, it's, it's growing the, 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 the flowers and the, the kayabas will also be trimmed uh, so on the outside i have the kayaba that that stone is plant and on the inside i have the flower all around yeah so that's my fence i also have some trees here along the fence uh, though we have beer what's beer in english termites or whatever they are uh, easy 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 to do plants on kama hii you can see this one in metumiadi dawa lakini bado zingine zinaungua but they they survive they survive they survive and we also have this one so you can see my mini forest is doing well nowadays they are even taller than me the plants the trees are, are doing well i have mini forest on either side uh, this side uh, is, the, is the side i planted first <coughs> and you can see the trees have grown and on the other side i also have a mini forest though the trees i planted this side are slow no growers or slow learners zina zina grow pole pole and they are called mzizi i don't know if that's the name in, in english no that's the swahili in english i don't know i uh, will search this one it grows very big but slowly yeah so this 
also my other mini forest this other side and uh, in between we have a walkway so <coughs> as we go uh, we can just follow this side here one time see this other side yeah this one is growing this i, I think i like this trees more than those other ones oh, and they grow faster but then i can call them soft food they are soft food but the only advantage is that they are, they, they, they are not affected with any any ants or whatever uh, those things that cut uh, meaty ants. Yeah, so this is also another one. And it seems to be also Tony in a way. But I uh, know it's not Tony. Yeah, I have some boga there. They're not mine, of course. Yeah, we can see this side when my flowers are doing well and my. My trees along the fence are also doing great. If you just check this line, these trees in the next five years, we, I'll have a, a micro environment here, a very big trees. And we're also doing some maize there. Uh, so we can never go angry. When people are crying about the younger prices, we can have something to do. To eat, go in Aisharaka because it's for a kubo kubo. So, uh, this is where my forest ends, and uh, from here, uh, I have I planted some some grass here, but they can't be weeded because there's no rain. So you find that uh, if you weed it, it becomes uh, it's, it's like you are approaching also there. It's very difficult actually to weed when it's not rainy. But a small father as we as we weeded, you can see the planted grass. There's a difference here. This is how the planted grass should look like, even in a car. Uh, these are my trees. I don't know what is this called, but this, this is my my best tree here. Uh, I like it the way it looks like. It feels like it's just unique. It's a unique plant. Yeah, we have different types of flowers this side, and uh, if you look this side, at least you will be able to will be able to appreciate the the grass that were planted this side. They are doing well. I'm also planting some some flowers along the the uh, walkway. Uh, you can see the flowers from the gate. Just differentiate between the walkway to demarcate the, the path. So this is this is a, this is an example of a planted grass. They are here. You know, if it rains, they'll catch up. It's been a while since it rained uh, last. So. This other side, uh, this is just an area for for fruits, fruits maybe, and flowers. Like this is a flower. We have a mango here. So this is a mango. A mango tree. Grafted. This is grafted, yeah. And uh, this is a flower. That's a tree. I also have another flower here. So this area will be covered with grass. When we are in a season of raining on and off, on and off, so somehow the grass find it difficult to spread well, but with time they'll spread. And then I have a gazebo here. Uh, this area where uh, surrounded by flowers, it will be trimmed very well. Maybe to a certain level, like around the Ambalaikas. This is a Kitovia. So we'll have an entry, and of course this will provide a shade. And then we just have seats around here, uh, so that when you get in, you can chill. I won't get into the house right now, that's the major agenda, because of lighting. Uh, but uh, let me walk you around and take you through the house where we have enough sunlight. Yeah, so you can see the fence. The fence is still doing well, this other side too. And uh, we are still... Uh, Weeding it every now and then, it's, every now and then it's, it's a lot of work. Another mango is here. Uh, that's that, that's for 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 food. So I, I I uploaded some videos here, the uh, plumbing stuff and, uh, and and so on and so forth. The plumbing has been going on, as you can see from the inside. We have that uh, uh, I don't know it's a pipe or what drainage pipe for. What's inside here? Let's see. Yeah, some plumbing is, is going on. This is the first, I don't know what they are called, manhole or whatever. 
Yeah, so this 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 is a shared toilet. It's in around this area, and uh, from it we get that manhole. I also had a writing here, garden. I, I don't know if it's visible, but for now, but if we did well, it will be visible and trimmed. Eh? It will be very visible, very very visible. Then this is the kitchen farm, uh, and the posterior aspect of the house. If you see from there. I have some skuma wiki from there. Uh, I don't know what this this mboga is. And uh, we also have this amarantha or whatever it is. And then we have managu the other side. We also have some some bananas doing very well. So this is the second manhole from the other side. And this, one, this one is now deeper than than the first one. Yeah? Seems deeper. Yeah, we have some bananas that are still very healthy and we also have some trees here but though not that much uh, like the other side of the, of, the, of the fence because this side is a garden so we don't need more trees we just need trees to filter air from maybe the road the road is just passing around some 50 meters away from here so sometimes it can be uh, the trees can help you trap some dust from the road so these are my skuma wikis uh, it's been dry uh, that's why you see them like this we also have another manhole here is it a manhole i don't know what it's called eh? yeah whatever it is that's another one these are plumbing work and then uh, this is still my garden i'll do some uh, I'll do some drip irrigation uh, system so that at least when it's dry like this, uh, we can always be getting water. Uh, this is also still plumbing work going on. It's plumbing and uh, uh, I can say kumwaga yo veranda, kukoroga. There's also another manhole here. This is mingi, kwa ni choni I think this is from the master bedroom, yeah? Yeah, so, right now, uh, oh wow, those Kumawiki look healthy, despite the, the fact that it, it hasn't rained for a while. And you can also see the, the bananas. They are doing really, really healthy. Now, I'll take you through, oh, there's also another man from here. Now, this is from the master bedroom. Eh? Yeah, so from the master bedroom, I think it gets there. Then it goes to the other two. Then we'll have a biodigester. So we we'll use a biodigester. Nowadays we don't use septic tank because uh, it's old mode. So we'll have another. Bi we have, we'll have a, from these manholes. We'll have biodigester right towards the corner of that uh, fence. Eh? We'll have a, a biodigester and a sock pit. Uh, is the best right now because you don't need to, to dig a big hole no you just need a, a, a standard one it depends on the number of uh, rooms you have and the people using it a standard one then uh, from the biodigester we have what we call is sock what, what we call sock pit so uh, the biodigester, the digester is uh, 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 injected with some bacteria that feeds on those waste eh? after it feeds on them then uh, it turns like it, it becomes watery so after it turns watery it flows to a sock pit so from the sock pit sock pit is just a hole uh, filled with pebbles and then so that when that water watery waste comes in it now spreads the only disadvantage of that is that you can't put it near a well or a borehole because so now you are to fish on nutrients you talk about the cooler nutrients here for maji come on make a caribuna uh, and a so that's why it's actually a way but septic tanks nowadays are they are becoming outdated uh, because they need too much space too much work too much labor too much materials unlike the digester so these are the ways that i got from when i was doing some screeding and hacking of the wall i'll tell you i'll take you through the rooms when the lights come back or when the lights are there because i still don't have electricity uh, here so the work that was done when I was away was uh, brandering or lathering this and uh, what is this called? Facerboard spear. 
So first of all, right now, what the one that's going on is uh, this one. Uh, it's called a veranda. Or what is it called? Yeah, it's called a veranda. So we started this other side. Uh, we are still going on. Eh? Uh, if you just come with me. These are flowers. I think we will do with uh, this one. If you follow my, if you followed my videos, I told you this was supposed to be a garage, but I turned it to my master bedroom. So that's why you see something like a, uh, uh, what can I call highway heading to a garage. But for now, uh, it was turned and we will do away with it. So we started doing the veranda, and that's that's the work that is going on right now, as you can see. Uh, this is one of my veranda. Uh, it's done with 20 30 percent because this when we, we are done with steaming from the outside, so that's my veranda being, being worked on. I think they are rich somewhere around there. Oh. Yeah, so the festivals were done, the blundering were done, and uh. The most important thing that was done was screeding and skimming, eh? uh, and uh, maybe let me let me just walk you through a little bit of what was done inside here. I'll continue the rest of the part uh, when the the sun comes down or the sun shines. Yeah. So first of all. Remember, I had a, 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 another foreman or one foreman, and the lighting's okay. Have you ever seen? Yeah, I had one foreman. I decided first of all I'm going to change this door. As you can see, these doors were very petty. Is it petty or light? Whatever it is, eh? Like they were just. You can see this one. So I decided to change it. So these are the doors that I made. These ones here. They are there to be fixed. Eh? At least this, this, this makes sense. Eh? You can notice the difference. And that's the same reason why I decided to, to also do the grills for the windows. Because the windows, okay, the, my, my initial foreman, the materials we used were supposed to be for when you are using bricks to build. Eh? But then, uh, you can see this one was very light. So this one was, I don't know, gauge, gauge what, gauge 18 or whatever. And this is 16. CG, I don't know so much about it, but just to enhance security, I decided to do the grills. You can notice the difference. Yeah, so this one is, uh, this one I just made uh, some two weeks ago. And then, uh, I also decided to do some, Skimming eh? is usual, but then the one thing I have to tell you is that Wakatuna Jenga uh, probably you should not, not supposed to use lime. Lime ni choka. So Wakatuna Jenga ukitumia choka, choka do have a tend, uh, tend to crack so much. Eh? So it's advisable, me from experience, because I had to do hacking. Hacking is kugonga gonga hii wall, yote mpaka kutoyo le ya anje. I think I uploaded a video of the same. You can go and check it back. Uh, then you do replastering. Like just a thin layer of replastering. replaster, you make it smooth. Like you just use cement and, uh, and sand. Then you rub it until it becomes smooth. But of course it can't be that smooth. It looks like here. You can see somewhere here. Then after doing that, is when you use a filler. Now, before you applying the filler, like this one, this is gift rock filler. Before applying the filler, of course, you'll have to, to uh, uh, rub it with sandpaper. Or uh, then, after rubbing it with sandpaper to, to make it smooth, then you apply the gift rock filler. After applying the gift rock filler, you again rub it with sandpaper to make it smooth because sometimes you find that you apply gift rock fill and some parts are have a gift rock in excess like if you check here you can see some parts are those to, to shimo shimo so these are what we, when, when you're done you apply you, you rub with the sandpaper and uh, 
afterwards you can now apply your undercoats first coat second coat is when now you decide which rang you want to use which color of uh, 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 rang you want to use so that's what's uh, been going on apart from that one we also done screeding if you check at the floor it's totally different so uh kuna ile foundation ya slab it's totally different from this one so this one after this one we also we, we only apply uh, we, we do tiling eh? so this one only needs sun and uh, and cement a lot of it actually because it now it, it now determines the level of the floor i wish there were lights here uh, we'll do a video when the lights come uh, the level of floor is determined by this this is what we call screening so you take the levels i think i also uploaded a video of the same you take the levels after taking the levels now you you use the sand and the cement to screed the floor so that from there you can just now do the tiling now when doing the tiling of course you use cement and because the floor is already flat the levels have been taken uh you will you will uh, just apply the the cement and then do the tiling is it really visible yeah so this is this is my skin room of course the 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 the, 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 the screening has been done this is not the definitive color of this house eh? so this is just the screening and maybe two and a quarter were done so um, I I'll, I'll decide after we are done what color I'm uh, applying to the walls depending on the rooms and so on and so forth so the place the spaces you, you you see left these are for fitting electrical fittings uh like here the wiring is done uh what is just left is uh now the fittings like here we have we have a socket twin socket there we have a there and there we have and here we have the, what is called the wall brackets eh? those lights eh? we also have another wall bracket inside i don't know where it is one is the other side you can see this one this is a wall bracket so we have four wall brackets on the sitting room here so we have a wall bracket there another one here actually there are five two on the other side of the tv stand or whatever then two these other sides this is a uh, socket then one there and probably one here no this is not a wall bracket this is maybe a socket or something yeah so you can also see my decorations for <coughs> dining or whatever and if you come this other side this is now my dining my dining space also we have a, a wall bracket on the dining one will be here and the other one will be here this is a wall bracket eh? yeah apart from the give some light and stuff so this also have been screened and you can notice the difference in the floor uh this one is on another level and this one is also another level there's a slight difference and this one is also on another, on another level down there so it's a step 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 as you move and you come if you come to this room this is i think uh, my study room i think this is a study room we also have a whole bracket for the study room one is here just one is enough for this and a socket there yeah so this is the study room every every window is grilled uh, for security purposes because the windows we used initially were very weak but with that one now it's okay yeah so this is the study room i i this is my door frames very beautiful and decorated i don't know if it's very visible uh they were colored i don't know what that color is but we have to know so of course this is my walkway shared bathroom you all you all, you, you know this wall eh? this bedroom we also uh, we have our one wall bracket for this is the second bedroom master bedroom is the other side i'll take you there uh one wall bracket there and then uh and the center lights and the give some lights maybe this is for socket eh? that will be fit this is just a space in front of my shared bathroom and toilet uh, i think i did uh, 
house tour and you know that one. I don't know if this room has a own bracket, it should. Because every bedroom must have a own bracket, at least one. In exception of my master bedroom. My master bedroom will have around four own brackets. But this is bedroom three. Uh, as you can see, uh, it also has grill windows. Yeah. I think that's done for the bedroom. This will be a socket, not socket switch. I don't know what that is. This is my main main switch. Then on this walkway uh, corridor, we we'll have a two-way switch. Also, we we'll have give some lights so along the corridor, of course. And let me let me take you to master bedroom. This is a switch, a two-way switch. One is the other side, another one is here. Now this is my corridor for master bedroom. As you can see, the lighting might be a bit problematic though, but I think uh, you'll just be able to see. If you get here, this is my master, no, no, this is my office. Eh? We have a study room and an office. So the office is here, uh, as you can see. It's, so, it's also supposed to have one, one bracket here. Ni kama watu walia, walia kuzifunika. It's also supposed to have one wall bracket here. We we'll look for it, for fully we we'll look for it. Just one and the center lights. And uh, we also have a, we'll also have a switch here. They forgot uh, to leave that switch. You can see my love and how it's beautiful. Very beautiful. Yeah. So this is my master bedroom. Uh, the master bedroom will have uh, four wall brackets. One will be here. We forgot to demarcate it. Another one will be here. This will be a bed switch. And this will be a socket. And another wall bracket will be here. And another one here. They forgot the market also that one. And this will be a switch. This will also be a switch heading to the dressing room. We have the dressing room on the other side and the toilet and toilet and what? Washroom. Or, 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 or bathtub, whatever it will be. This is my bad master bedroom. This was the, the one that was supposed to be a garage, but I decided to change it. So I'll head you to the kitchen, the most important part of the room or of the house. This is my kitchen. I don't know if the lightings are, are okay, but this is the kitchen. And the reason why we've, done, we've not done. Uh, any skimming on the kitchen is because these walls will be tiled from Chin Yadiju. Uh, this is my pantry. Pantry is a kitchen, so. So, this is my pantry. Tengeneza to be to the kitchen. I love a double sink here. And of course, the cabinets here. Or the cabins are yet to be uh, done. Now this is the kitchen porch. Uh, of course, there's no door here. We've already removed one door. We're left with this one. We are replacing, we replace these doors. Eh? So here we put a door. You can leave the record. We put a door there. This is my laundry room. Oh, laundry will also be tiled. From the floor to the roof, so that's why we've not done any skinning on it. We will have a tap around there, and we'll have a socket around there. Anyway, you see the nails, you'll, be, you'll see that there is a, a, a wiring done. So that's actually pretty much it for this, whatever has been going on. So right now, we want, we want to remove these door frames and these doors. 
and replace them with the one that I showed you at the other side. So that's it. Please, guys, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, if this is helping you. Uh, kindly share so that uh, at least some other people can also learn. Uh, thank you so much. Subscribe. Uh, but before I leave, I want to show you my 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 window moldings. You see how they are beautiful. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. The window moldings are just nice. So, work that is supposed to go on, we are supposed to finish Kukoroga this veranda and plumbing. After that one, uh, we'll fix the glasses for the windows. Then, I'll plan for gypsum work to be done. After gypsum, uh, as we do gypsum, we'll also be doing the fittings for the house, eh? not for the elect electricity, like the sockets and the uh, fittings for plumbing also. Then after that one, we'll do the tiling last, and then for tiling, we'll do, uh, we'll put the cabinets or the cabins, both for kitchen and for the bedrooms. After which we'll uh, do uh, painting. Then, of course, you know after painting, that's the last step of, of everything. So work is still yet to be done. A lot of work is yet to be to be done, uh, but we still have time. There's no hurry. Just pole pole too. Don't hurry. Just take your time. Kill a tune pole pole. I don't know if I've shown you my meter box here. My meter box is pretty big here. I don't have the keys, eh? like my electrician went with the keys. This is my window for master bedroom, uh, bathroom. And this one is for dressing room. Yeah. So thank you so much guys, let's meet in the next one. Please consider subscribing if you are first time. And if you are a returning subscriber, please give this video a like. See you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.